too many latkas, a Hanukkah and Kelm, by Linda Glasser, illustrated by Alexander Zolotik. In Kelm, a village of fools, Fagel makes the best latkas, but every Hanukkah, she only makes a tiny batch. If you're lucky, she serves you one little latka, and you dream about it for the rest of the year. Except for one year, where everything went oh, awry. <laughs> it was the first night of Hanukkah. I don't remember my latka recipe, cried Fagel. How will I make potato latkes? Well, you always use potatoes, her husband Shmuel remembered. But how many, she wailed. Was it three or maybe four? I'll go ask the rabbi, said Shmuel. The rabbi, cried Fagel. What does he know about latkes? Books, nothing. But he's the wisest man in Kelm, said Shmuel. He knows more than you think. Well, maybe you're right, said Fagel. Quick, go ask. Shmuel ran to the rabbi's house in two flicks of a goat's tail. Rabbi, help! Fago can't remember her latka recipe. How many potatoes should she use? The rabbi's stomach gurgled. He hadn't eaten much all day. Tell her to use them all. Shmuel scratched his head. Are you sure? Are these my feet? The rabbi pointed. Of course, said Shmuel. Are you sure? Asked the rabbi. Sure, I'm sure, said Shmuel. Well, said the rabbi, I'm just as sure about the potatoes. On Hanukkah, that's what potatoes are for. You are so wise, said Shmuel, and rushed home. The rabbi says to use them all, he said to Fagel. All of them? Is he sure? Asked Fagel. Are these the rabbi's feet? Shmuel pointed. What? cried Fagel. Shmuel, where's your head? Right here, he tapped it. Don't ask silly questions. Let's just do what the rabbi says. So Fagel grated all the potatoes, down to the very last one. Then she clutched her head. Oi, with all these potatoes, how many eggs should I use? I'll go ask the rabbi, said Shmuel. He raced over in two snaps of a chicken's beak. Rabbi, help! How many eggs should Fagel use for the latkes? The rabbi thought for a moment. His stomach rumbled. Use all the eggs you've got. Shmuel scratched his head. Are you sure? Is this my nose? The rabbi pointed to his nose. Of course, said Shmuel. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Well, I'm just as sure about the eggs. On Hanukkah, that's what eggs are for. So Shmuel ran back home. Use all our eggs. What? cried Fagel. Is he sure? Is this the rabbi's nose? Shmuel pointed to his nose. What? Have you lost your head? Shmuel felt it. No, it's right here. Let's start cracking eggs. So Fagel cracked all the eggs, down to the very last one. Done, she then groaned. Oi, but how many onions should I use? I'll find out. Shmuel ran to the rabbi's house in two flicks of a mule's ear. Onions? The rabbi tugged, tugged his beard. His stomach grumbled. Use all the onions you've got. Shmuel's eyes bulged. Are you sure? Is this my head? The rabbi pointed. Of course, exclaimed Shmuel. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Well, I'm just as sure about the onions. On Hanukkah, that's what onions are for. Shmuel ran home. The rabbi says use them all. Oh my goodness, Fagel threw her hands in the air. Is he sure? Is this the rabbi's head? Shmuel pointed to his own head. What? cried Fagel. My husband doesn't even know his own head anymore. What's next? Onions! exclaimed Shmuel. Don't you remember? Let's start chopping. So Fagel started chopping. She chopped and chopped. Then she fried up the latkes up to her elbows up to her armpits, up to her earlobes, and each latka was a crispy golden masterpiece. Done! She wiped her hands on her apron. Then she held her head. Oi, we have too many latkas. If we eat all these latkas, we'll get 
belly aches up to her eyeballs. Shmuel nodded. I'll go ask the rabbi what to do. He raced over in two shakes of cow's tail. Help, rabbi, we have way too many latkas. No, the rabbi shook his head. There is no such thing as too many latkas. He held up a fi his finger like a true sage. Just not enough mouths. Very wise, nodded Shmuel. But Fagel and I have only one mouth each. Ah, the rabbi's stomach growled loudly. Don't worry, I can help. I'll come to your house and I'll bring my mouth with me. But when he got to the house, the rabbi shook his head. I can't eat all these latkas, even if I stuffed my mouth from now until the last night of Hanukkah. Oi, moaned Fagel. What will we do with all these latkas? The rabbi stroked his beard. There's only one answer. We need more mouths. More mouths? Shmuel felt around his face for more mouths. The rabbi shook a finger at him. Not our mouths. Go, invite the whole village. Quick, while the latkas are still hot, tell everyone to bring one mouth each. On Hanukkah, that's what mouths are for. And so Shmuel did. The whole village rushed over to help solve the problem of too many latkas. And oy, did they help. On Hanukkah, that's what a village is for. There were just enough mouths and just enough latkas down to the very last one. A note on Kelm stories. Do you want to know how Kelm came to be? Well, an angel had a sack of foolish souls to scatter around the world. But as luck would have it, the bag got too heavy and all the souls spilled out into, into the small Eastern European village of Kelm. While there is a real Polish town called Kelm, the fictional Jewish town has become a beloved part of Jewish folklore. Stories that take place in this village of fools are full of silliness, but also sprinkled with a bit of wisdom. The first stories of Kelm were written in Yiddish in the late 1880s. Since then, Jewish writers have continued to entertain readers with stories about the citizens of Kelm who are famous for their ridiculous problems and their often equally ridiculous solutions.